right, guys. So let's do let's overview Drake Tech software and see how it looks like, how to use it. Uh, so we'll start with um, this is how beautiful Drake Tech software looks like. I think it's really awesome, and I want to start with why I like it. I think it's really awesome for reasons. It's really easy to use. And the best part about it is like they give you so much flexibility. Uh, this video is not sponsored by Drake, but if Drake Tax Software wants to sponsor my videos, please let me know if somebody's watching from Drake Tax. But anyways, it's just my favorite. I really enjoy it. And one of the reasons is because it's affordable. And if you're tax preparer and you're not sure how many tax clients you're going to have that year and you want unlimited, I think Drake Tax Software is the best. Uh, why? Because, like you can see here, it gives you unlimited, like 1040s, if you want, and you can get that for unlimited. I'm um, sorry. So here's this plan, and it's unlimited 1040s and business. It's pretty awesome. This plan unlimited 1040s, and you pay for um, business, and I think it includes some 1040s here. I mean, some business here as well. And this is pay per tax return. So you just pay 355 at the beginning. It includes 10, um, 1040s. And then you start paying for each tax return as you go. And it pretty much tells you how much you pay. The cool thing about this, you can start what I did last year because I was so uncertain what's going to happen. Am I going to have like enough client to cover this cost or not? So what I did, I purchased this pay per tax return and then I purchased like each tax return individually. And then eventually you can switch to unlimited. So it gives you an option. I don't know if they have it here, but if you reach certain amount, I think this amount, if you actually get to this amount that whatever is on top of it, it's like you switch to unlimited if you reach this or this amount. I'm not sure exactly which one, but I can comment. I'll probably comment below in the video when I, when I buy next year's uh, tech software. So I think that's cool because let's say, if you get to this point and you're like, oh my gosh, I still have to pay additionally for each tax return, you don't because they automatically switch you to unlimited so you can grow your business and not worry about tax preparation costs. Anyways, so that's about their cost and policy and that's probably the, the main reason why I really like them and I don't have to worry about you know the, how much tax software costs. But now let's switch to Drake and yeah, like, I'll explain your functionality, what I like, what I dislike, what I'm actually using here and what I'm doing. So let's start. Thank you for watching my video. Just a quick interruption. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Just to tell you that I do sell online courses. So if you go to the, my website, remotecpnla.com, it will give you more information about online courses that I sell and what I teach and with more information about me, agenda on what we do. We have a weekly calls. We go over the... Um, different kind of uh, issues or problems we can have in a tech software. So in the end of this one month course, you'll be able to prepare like a complex tax return in any tech software you choose. Thank you again. Please continue watching my video. <laughs> Hey guys, so I'm sorry to interrupt. I just want to tell you that I do watch, I do sell the online courses on the different tax preparation. So if you go to my website, remotecpanla.com, it will give you more information about what kind of tax softwares I'm specializing in, agenda about our um, online course. And so we have like a weekly meetings. We uh, like in the end of that course, you'll be able to learn to do like a super complex tax return in the tax software you choose. Thank you so much. Please keep watching. <laughs> Hey, I'm sorry to interrupt you. I just want to tell you that I do sell online courses. Hey, I'm sorry to interrupt my video. Hey, I'm sorry to interrupt my video. I just want to say that I do sell online courses and different tax preparation software. So if you go to my website, Remote CPA in LA, it will give you more information about tax softwares I'm specializing in, more information about me, and then content for agenda for online course. So it's a one month course and we go over all topics that are here. And weekly we have um, our calls, a group calls, and in the end of the course, you would be able to prepare a complex tax return in the software you choose. All right, sorry to interrupt. Keep watching your video, please. <laughs> Alrighty, so we open Drake Tech Software right now and let's see what it looks like. So here we have Open Create. 
Uh, so we use this to create or open text returns. So let's open it and see how, what it does. So it just asks me some information if I want to add it from last year, database of index names. I don't really want to do it. I just want to create a new text return. So to do it here, you need to type the client's name or EIN number and create and say OK to create your tax return. Uh, on the top, top right, you can um, you can choose like which clients you want to open right now. So those are all made up names. Uh, and I just open, um, I just installed Drake Text and I just open it from scratch. So I don't have any information right here. But if I do need to filter by certain types of returns, I can. All right, so that's awesome. Let's see what else is here. So here we have like recalculate, print certain things so we can choose text return and do it. Uh, other things that I honestly haven't used yet. So maybe I'll record a separate video, but like as a basic text preparer who just using uh, Drake for text preparation business, you don't really need any of those kind of stuff. This is additional. I'm sure they're very useful, but haven't used it. Uh, then file. So we can do the same, open, create, text, return. So pretty much tells us like all these things, but in uh, file menus and e-file selection. So this is actually really, really useful because that's how you e-file. So you create text returns then you select return for e-file. And here you just check the box for any return you want, print continue, and that's how that's the first time for e-file, uh, first step for e-filing. Next step would be go to transmit and receive and you choose this files that you just selected from that other menu and uh, and choose the selected it's press send and receive so that, that's how we e-file and then to get e-file uh, e-file authorization e-file confirmation we go to process acts and we just refresh it until we actually receive out of our e-file confirmations Alrighty, so let's see what else. Okay, cool. So let's create a tax return. So I'm just gonna I use Jack White always as example because I used to work in the music industry and my favorite favorite client was Jack White. I really enjoyed I, I guess you have to enter I'm sorry, you have to enter tax ID to create the tax return. So let me do that. Would you like to cre create a tax return? Yes, so it will be individual. Um, Sorry, I need I need to repeat my social security. So that's actually really awesome when you do paper tax returns. You don't have you don't make to you don't make the mistake and you don't have to call them uh, to refund to refund. So that's pretty awesome. Uh, so I need to enter account number, e-file. So I need to set up electronic filing things before I start doing this. So just give me a second. I'll just set it up very quickly so I can show you example how to use Drake Tech software. Please hand with me. Um, alrighty, so after I confirm my EFIN number, I was able to start using the tech software. So don't forget to do that. <laughs> All right, so this is how, so I just created my first tax return. So this is like how it looks like. Uh, let me close it, save, yes. Okay, I guess I need to enter some information before I can close it. So let me just do, put um, enter date of burst and address. And filing status. Oops, sorry. Uh, so that's how uh, the text software looks like. We can make it bigger. So this is like presentation. When we open text return, we have those sections in here. So on the uh, top right, we can do recalculate. View and print is to view tax return. So when we press view and print, we can go and see tax return, print tax return, uh, attach files, email it, like things like that. Under documents, we can, um, yeah, there is a way to attach files here as well when we choose to attach files. So let's go back to data entry below. All right, so to the left, we have a screen code. So one, two, three, four, five, things like that. So when we search for things, we can enter screen code, like it says here, 
enter screen name, enter screen description, a face, whatever we need to search for, we can enter it here and the drag will take us where we need to be. Uh, right here in blue are active screens. Those are screens that we have something in there. So like miscellaneous, we have something in here. And that's it. So let's let's say we need to enter W2. So we just tap W2 and didn't take us to W2. But like if I didn't do slash, I would just do W2 like people should do. It would take us to W2. So we need to enter EIN, name of employer, addresses, things like that. Uh, so for me, what was a little bit confusing at the beginning, but then I figured out how to do it and it was super easy. So for example, I didn't know how to add additional W2 after I'm here. So to do it, we have to do page down and it actually says somewhere in here. I just can't find where it says right now, but it's just page down and it will add a, an additional W2 if you need to enter additional W2. And what else is important? So uh, here we have states, if you need to add states, if you need to change something on state. So the Drake will flow all the federal information to the state. And how it knows the state, we usually enter it like right here under address and resident state right here. If it's changed the resident state, we need to go to state information, add additional state and things like that. So that's kind of how it is. So we enter all information right here. To view, calculate, uh, to view diagnostic, we go to calculate. It will show us majority of diagnostics right here. When the text return ready for e-file, it should be a green check right here. Sometimes uh, it doesn't show any diagnostics right here, but they can show up under view print. And we have those like red, highlighted in red, also electronic file and messages that we need to clear right here. Um, yeah, to exit the screen, we just can press escape if we need to. Like, let's say we went here and we need to close it. We can just do escape and it takes us where we need to be. And um, yeah, th so I think that's like, uh, yeah, main overview of how to use it. So we go to different things. We enter information we need. If you need changing something for states, we go here. To view text return, we use view and print things. And um, after it's ready to e-file, we just like, ah, oh, I'm sorry, I'll just go back here. So electronic filing option is right here. So in order for us to select this text return for e-file, we go under e-file ready to e-file and we choose the states we want to e-file. So let's say it's California for me. So then the tech software knows we need to e-file and it actually generates all diagnostics ready to be e-filed. All right, so that's a short overview of Drake Tags. Hope you enjoyed it and good luck using Drake Tag software. Bye.